I hope you're ready for this because I'm about to share with you the ultimate drugstore makeup starter kit. This is full of all kinds of makeup and I can't wait to show you what goodies are inside this bag. Hello, my friends. I hope that you are all doing well. I am very happy to have you here today because not only am I going to show you how you can put together the perfect ultimate makeup starter kit if you're a beginner, but there are some amazing drugstore products in here. The cream of the crop is what I tried to choose. Things that really weren't very expensive and yet were really star performers. That's what I really wanted to achieve today. But not only am I excited about about the content we have today, I'm also excited to be doing this in a collab for the first time on my channel with Jen Phelps. I am so happy to be teaming up with Jen because I've been watching Jen for years and years and especially over on Instagram. I found her from Instagram because she had the most amazing swatches comparing eyeshadows and she has an amazing collection of eyeshadows. She has so many palettes that she can go back to and reference and see if what's coming out now is even close to what we might have already in our stash, which is so helpful for me because you can get repetitive over and over again. She just has this eye to be able to think, oh yeah, that palette looked like that. So she'll bring those together and show them to you. She also does weekly reviews of the things that she sees that are new and she'll swatch them for you and kind of give her a little bit of thoughts about how she feels about it. She does great content and she sticks a lot to drugstore. I know that a lot of you like very affordable makeup. She does reviews on Indie brands. She's just amazing. I love her content. She does a great job. So as soon as this video is over, please go over and say hello to Jen. Make sure you leave her a comment telling that I telling her that I sent you over today. And if you are here joining me from Jen's channel, I want to say a special welcome to you. Thank you so much for coming over to my channel. Please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the little bell icon so that you can be notified of any future videos. And everyone, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, that includes all my friends that have been with me for such a long time. You know how much I appreciate every single one of you. You are a part of my family and I hope that we get to add to that family. I am trying so hard right now to get to 100,000. I want that plaque. I am just, I'm six years into YouTube and I really want that plaque. So I hope that I can achieve that very, very soon. All right, so first off, this bag is a little bit big. I realize that, but I didn't want to buy a smaller bag just for this, but I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave a link not only to this bag, it's on Amazon, but also to a couple that are a little bit smaller if you're, you know, you don't carry around like 80 pounds of makeup like I do. But what I love about this bag is it is a two tier bag and you can get a ton in here. It has so much organization and so many compartments and you can customize the compartments down here. You can divide them however you want to. So I think that that is just great. So let's start out with primer. Now I decided to go with the e.l.f. gripping power grip primer because I really have been enjoying this. And as we're going into the summer months, we're going to want budge proof makeup. I feel like a gripping primer is something that really holds onto that foundation and can really give you that lasting power that you need. This is also kind of a smoothing primer. What you're going to want to do is when you use it, you're going to want to really work it into your pores right around your area where you have the most pores. And you're going to want to really take the time to just press that in and make sure that you get it. But for gripping and holding on to that as we get into the heat, I think you're gonna love this e.l.f. primer. So I wanted to give you some options for foundation. Now you don't necessarily have to get all these foundations. I would just choose one if you were starting out. What I have on today is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. And I have rediscovered this. I put it in um, a hidden gem or shop my stash type video not long ago. And this is gorgeous. It's just one of those ones that lay across your skin and if you have mature skin it's not going to show up texture and I have mine in 203 however this is kind of a little bit orange it's very hard with L'Oreal I feel like theirs go very very orange and it's hard to get the right color but I will show you how to take care of that in this kit too 
fantastic foundation. If you are a little bit more oily or you, your combination skin, you might really enjoy the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. Now I have very combo dry skin in the summertime and it works perfect for me. It's just one of those foundations that I feel like no matter what your skin type is, this is a really, really good one. However, do keep in mind that this is a full coverage. It doesn't show up any texture and I really love this one as well. My color is 115 Ivory in this one. Okay, I said that the L'Oreal foundation is a very orange color on me, but you can very easily take care of that by putting these two items in your kit. These are the LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing pigments. Now I have one in white, which is obviously to lighten a too dark of a foundation, but this one right here is blue. And you would think why in the world would you ever put blue into your foundation? Well, blue counteracts orange perfectly. And so my cool skin cannot handle any sort of an orange foundation. So I just put some of this in there. I will show a clip of that, of doing that. And it immediately makes it my perfect color. And then I'm pretty white. So it's kind of kind of sometimes hard to find one that is light enough. So I will mix some of this in too. These are lifesavers. And I do have a whole entire video about mixing foundations. So those will help you save your foundation anytime. I love those. I did choose today to put the ColourPop pretty fresh hyaluronic concealer in here. It is a medium coverage concealer, but it has a very thin consistency and you can build it up if you need more. Like I will put just a tiny bit more after my first coat on the troughs that I have right here on my eyes. This is a very nice concealer. I like the doe foot. It's not too big. Some of those doe foots are huge, but I like this one. This is a really great concealer that won't crease. You do have to just sit it down just a little bit. I have such crinkles under my eyes that I, if I don't set it with a little bit of powder, I'm going to find that through the day it's going to settle into fine lines. That's all of my makeup, not just this particular concealer. It's any concealer that I wear, but this one is very long wearing and it does almost have a self-setting property to it. So you don't need a lot of powder as you're working with it. So I really like that one. I want to tell you about these sponges that I get. These are the Beaky sponges. Um, you can get a package of five. I, you can get a package of 10. It's a little cheaper to get the package of 10, but I love these. These are every bit as soft as a beauty blender and they will plump up to double their size. They last and last and last, but these are definitely at a drugstore price point. So you can definitely pick those up and, you know, not break the bank with a beauty blender that's $20. Whereas these are just a few dollars for several of them. Also, I would put in my kit, if it were me, this sponge cover or the case that I have for my makeup sponges. What this does for me is it keeps the inside of my makeup case clean from any sort of foundation or products that you've put on your beauty sponge. And I just put it in there so that nothing gets um, wet or nothing gets damp inside my makeup case. This has really saved me a lot. Number seven, Lift and Luminate Pressed Powder is a, my all-time favorite drugstore powder. It has been for years and it will continue to be. It is one that comes in several different colors and I think it might even come in a translucent. Don't quote me on that, but it might. So also I wanna share with you the these puffs. These are what I actually have been using lately. I don't have any powder on this right now, but um, you can use it to pick up if you have, you know, any uh, settling that you might get around your nose and your chin. If you feel like you need to reapply powder during the day, you can surely dip down into there and apply the powder. It's just great. The powder itself is creamy and light and it is not drying on my skin and I don't feel like I get cakey. And I put my powder on just a tiny bit of my powder on underneath my eyes with the puff. I really like that effect. And then if I want to dust powder all over, I will use the e.l.f. Uh, I think this is a Preci Precision Pro brush. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but it's a very fluffy brush for powder. And I wanted to include it in this video. And this is what I use when I use the my finishing powder. This is a little bit of a finishing slash highlight powder. This is the Physician's Formula Rose All Day Set and Glow. So you have two products in here. You have a balm-like product that you can use to kind of make your face have that little bit of a dewy 
um, look to it. I don't use that very much, but I love this other powder so much. It's got this gorgeous imprint on it anyway. And the powder itself is just super light and it just gives a beautiful glow. I just dust this in the middle of my face. It gives a very ethereal look to your face. If you liked the Milani Prep Set and Glow, this is really close to that. It might have just a tiny bit more glow, but I really think that this particular color, which I think is called luminous light this one is probably as close a dupe as you can get to the milani so buy this not that type thing and the powder brush and it just makes it so easy to just dust really quickly over the middle of my face when we're talking about a highlighter i wanted to go with a creamy highlighter and i had forgotten how good these wet and wild makeup sticks are and this one is in the highlight color it's what i have on today underneath my blush it's really a good one i hope that you you're able to see this but it's pretty soft and that's what I like about it. It's not got this super high beam, although you could build and build and it would really get to that point of being really a high beam product. And I use the e.l.f. small stipple brush to just tap on the top of it like this and then I'll go across like this. And I had this years and years ago. This came out a long time ago. I had it years ago and I forgot how much I like these sticks. Now for contour and bronzer, I actually just talked about this in a video very recently. This is the Essence Contouring Duo Palette and it has, if I can get the sucker open, it has two different um, colors in here. I actually, in the winter time, I will swirl the colors together to make it this color a little bit lighter for me. And then I just dust it all over where I want to get bronzed or a little bit of contour. This is a nice enough shade that I can use it for both. It is a little bit more on the bronzy side than I would normally wear if I were doing a separate contour and bronzer. But when you're just starting out or when you want something really quick, it's great to have a product that can do both. I had the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star as well. I picked this one up over that product all the time. I would much rather put this on my face than that one. I feel like I have to really build and build and build that one up. By the way, this one is for lighter skin and they have one that is for darker skin. And then that powder over there, if you want to use that as a setting powder, that is so creamy and lovely. This is a great product and at a great price point. By the way, this brush is a really great brush too. I will try to link one for you that is almost identical to it. This one I got from Crown Brush. Unfortunately, they are out of business now, but this is a great brush and I found some dupes for it on Amazon. They're actually cheaper than this one was. The new setting mist that I found from ColourPop, which is the no filter setting mist, uh, this doesn't have any alcohol in it. And I really appreciate that about it because again, I have dry skin. And so if you're a mature woman, you might think about, you know, getting something like this, especially to use after powder because it can just, just help melt your powder into your makeup. During the day, if I feel like I'm looking dry, I'll go ahead and spray this on again. And it's like a boost of moisture on my face too. So this is a really great one as well. And then my recommendation for blush are the L'Oreal True Match Blushes. I really like this formula. And we'll find out what this one is called right now. This one is called, it's Five and Six Rosy Outlook. This one is the one I have on today. It's kind of a, br quite a bright pink. I feel like just about anybody can wear that. Maybe if you're super deep, you can't. They do have a lot of deeper colors in this one. And then this one is C34 Tender Rose. And that's pretty as well. This one is really light. So it's a little bit harder to be able to see that. I'm trying to build that up. But it's really pretty on your cheeks if you are somebody that is a little bit lighter. I really like that one. And like I said, there's lots of colors and there is the neutrals and the warms as well with these. So I love those as well. Switching over to eye products. Oh my goodness. I could not decide what I was going to do here. So I decided that I wasn't going to decide. I put e.l.f. and the Essence Little Palettes in here. Both of these shadows, they feel like they're high end. Both kinds. And I love the ones from Essence because they are a little bit lighter in their pigment. And so building them up is easier. And if you have a very light skin tone, it's easier to build than have to try and blend out to where you have a decent look instead of everything looking so, so dark. So this one right here is called Taupe It Up. And then the next one is called I Like to Mauve It, Mauve It. So there's your purples. This is their new one that is called My Rose Will Go On. 
and that is your pinks. And then I have the dancing green. If you just bought four of these, like what I have right here, you're getting six shadows in each. So you're getting 24 shadows at a price point of about $4 each. So 24 shadows for 16, that's better than any palette that you can buy. Um, so yeah, you could customize which ones you actually like and want to use. So these are great. The other ones that I had to put in here are from e.l.f. These are the bite size shadows. You get four shadows in each of these. And I have, let me again get my glasses. I don't know why I don't find something to tie around my neck to have these babies on. Okay, the first one is cream and sugar. And cream and sugar is actually what I'm wearing today on my eyes. So I took this color right here at the top. I took it as a transition. Then I took this one just out in the corner to deepen and give the wing effect. And then I took this one right here on my lid on the inner part. And then I also took from Truffles, I took this gray color right here, kind of a, a shimmering gray. And I kind of put that all over my eyelid. And so that one is kind of a cool toned one. And then the, I have the rose water one, which is of very pretty roses just beautiful and then i have a kau and i think this is just absolutely gorgeous as well this blue right here is probably one of my favorite blues of all time it has a purple blue look to it i just think it's so pretty so i have four of these with four shadows in each and that would be 16 shadows and these are three dollars a piece so for twelve dollars you're getting 16 shadows and you're getting whoops let's turn that around and you're getting really quality shadows i just think that these are wonderful for anybody that is starting out and if you haven't tried these before they're amazing now as far as eyeliner a lot of times i will just go ahead and i'll put uh just a regular eyeshadow on the bottom of my eye to do my eyeliner but if i was going to choose i would choose to use either the covergirl exhibitionist or the revlon color stay liners both of these are super durable liners <laughs> that's not a word that we use a lot in makeup but they really last a long time on your eyes and they've got great pigment to them so the revlon one has a ton of colors now the exhibitionist doesn't have as many but this green color is so gorgeous i use that all the time it is one of the most pretty colors and i have heard people say how do you sharpen that one um these i just use a regular sharpener as a matter of fact i will show you that too and i'll make that a part of the kit this is just a revlon sharpener that i've had forever and it will sharpen that even though that this uh barrel right here is plastic so don't shy away from those because you might have heard people say that they're hard to sharpen they might be a little bit hard to sharpen but not like impossible but these ones from revlon they are automatic so you do have that and then on the other side you do have the little built-in sharpener and you do have a smudger on that so i really love the revlon ones and you could probably find every color you needed in the revlon um i just really wanted to talk about the formula with the exhibitionist because that green is just mesmerizing to me it's so pretty so i've been doing my eyebrows a little bit different lately i will take a mascara eyebrow mascara eyebrow gel whatever you want to call them so this has a tiny tiny little spoolie on it by the way this is the essence make me brow in ashy browns and i love this so i will take that spoolie and the first thing i'll do is i'll take a spoolie like on the end of this one and i'll just brush my hairs or brush my eyebrows up and then i will put this product the gel product in them and really fluff them up and then i'll go in this one is the revlon uh the revlon color stay brow creator so then i'll go in with a pencil like this and again this is just a very fine tip pencil but what i love about this is not only does it have that but it also has a built-in little stopper spring-loaded stopper that you can get this little tiny bit of shadow and if you need to fill in places this is great for filling in the brows so you get this color right there and then let me show you a little line right there of the actual brow pencil right there but these two products together they're everything i need to do my brows and i've been loving doing my brows like this it's just so much more simple to start with the brow gel and then fill in with this this is what i line my top lashes with or my top lash line i like to do it very tight so that it does make a little bit of definition for those top lashes and this one is the nyx epic ink liner 
I know that they have this in a waterproof formula and I know that they have it in the brown and the black. And this is just the brown one. I choose the brown one a lot because I enjoy having a softer look. And as you can see, it's really a lot softer. But you can see right here that if you need it to be a little bit darker, it can be a little bit darker too. So it's really lovely and I have it on all day. It doesn't go anywhere. And what I'm wearing on my lashes for mascara, I wanted to put something different that you could just go to Walmart and buy if you wanted to, the Maybelline Sky High. Now there are a lot of people that don't like this one because that wand is very bendy like that right there. Well, I actually find that's to my advantage because many of you know I have a very shaky hand. I have a palsy in my hand, a tremor, and it is a disability that I have. And so being able to have that bend is a little bit easier than having a stiff one that I will poke myself with <laughs> almost every time. It can be a little bit challenging to get used to it, but I really, this formula is just fantastic. It's a silicone brush. It's not a natural bristle brush. And then when you saw me do my eyes, you also saw this tape employed. This is just the Sephora Guide Makeup Tape. ELF has some, but it's not, it doesn't ad adhere as nicely. And I just find that this is indispensable for me to be able to have in my kit. So it's worth the splurge. All right, on go the glasses for the lips. First of all, one of my favorite liners, this is the color, not just the liner itself. Self. This is an automatic liner. Once again, it does have a little bit of a sharpener there. Excuse me. I couldn't think of the name. This is in Gone Grage from Maybelline, and this is their Color Sensational liners. The reason that I love this is because I can pair it with any liner, and it does give that shadow so you can draw outside the lip line and give a little bit bigger pout there. The one that I do have on today are the LA Girl Shockwave ones. And this one is in Rosewood. And again, I love this one. This one is not automatic. You are going to have to sharpen it yourself. I don't mind that, especially when I find a color that works so well. So I've got a very kind of a deepened rose here and then that kind of a mauve gray color that works so well on my skin tone because it just is a beautiful nude color. I can pair anything with it. I also couldn't decide on which one I wanted to do for Maybelline either. So I picked out my top five. This one is called Nude Lust. All of these except for one are going to be fairly creamy products. Um, that one's called Nude Lust and I'm having a hard time finding places to put things. So yeah, the next one is called Born With It. This is more of a balmy, very creamy pink color. And I really like that one. So it's a little bit lighter of a pink right there. And then the next one is called um, Warm Me Up. This is a neutral pink that just about any woman can wear. This is the one that I have just recommended to so many people when they didn't know what color to wear because it can go cool, it can go warm, whatever your coloring is, it's a beautiful color. And then going into a little bit deeper is this one called Rose Embrace. It's a very deepened color that reminds me very much of the Intense Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. It's just that deep, medium, neutral rose. And then what I'm wearing today is Blushing Pout, and this is like a bubblegum pink, and that's a little bit more of a matte formula. And you can get lots of different mattes and sheers and and creams in this formula from Maybelline. I love them. And then to top everything off, let's talk about my favorite gloss at the drugstore, which is the Milani Keep It Full. These are the plumping lip glosses. I love these. They're fantastic. The first one that I have is called Moonlight. This is just one that I wear over just about any lippy that I'm going to do, just because it just has just a tiny bit of a reflect in it. I like a little bit of that reflect, not glitter at all, but just a little bit of that really beautiful sheen that goes into lip glosses at times. So that one's Moonlight. And then I have Nude Shimmer, which I love as well. This is more of a nude kind of a champagne -y color. And that one's pretty as well. That one goes on top of just about any lipstick too for a nude look. And then what I wore over top of Blushing Pout is this one right here, and it's called Tropical Shine. This one is just so pretty. It gives a little tiny bit of 
a coral cast to it without overwhelming whatever you have on so pretty so there is that tropical shine this is a cooling effect lip gloss but it's not super intense like buxom's i actually like it so much better than buxom's i think that's it for today i thought it was a lot i know but i really wanted to bring you a very complete kit that's why i wanted to call it the ultimate kit so i hope that you did enjoy this today and if you did please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to go over and show jen all kinds of love i know you're going to fall in love with her i love her she's down to earth she's amazing she's just something special to watch and i think that you're going to really love her don't forget to subscribe if you're not help me get to that hundred thousand i would really appreciate that hope you're all having a great day i love you very much come right back in my next video and we'll meet together we'll have all kinds of fun take care of yourselves until then and i'll see you soon goodbye my friends